Well, hello, hello. My name is Gant and welcome back to Caffeine, Victoria's Legacy. Before we start the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and leave a comment. Alright, let's get back into it. Ah, uh, I feel awful. Didn't sleep well. Kept having dreams all night. As I walked downstairs, I could hear Alice h happily humming a tune while sweeping the floor. <clears throat> you seem to be in a really good mood. Of course. That's because I just ate some sweets for my late breakfast snack. Do you eat sweets every day for breakfast? <clears throat> every morning, I eat as many sweets as I can. So I can recall what happiness feels like. Because without those sweets, I'm just dead inside. I have no soul at all. I feel depressed every day. Every night I go home and feel real sad. Without the sweets in the morning, I'll just go through misery all the time. <laughs> I look over the counter and see a pile of cakes and pastries already prepared for sale. Taka, why don't you help yourself to more pastries and sweets? You need the you need the energy for the day. Sure, Alice, but I wouldn't want to take take it from that nicely organized pile. Plus, isn't that for the customers? That's all right. Take as many as you like. We never have customers anyway. They they never want to stay. And that's why I have the sweets to make me feel happy. Yay! <laughs> the fewer pastries and cakes we need to... Uh, the fewer pastries and cakes we need to sell, the earlier we can close the shop and go home. Isn't that wonderful? That's, that's not how business works. You need to make money, Alice. Does this coffee house even make any money? If we... Eat all the pastries before it opens? Okay, what are those paintings on the walls? How should I find a breeze to Yeah, I'm gonna ask the, the, the real question right now. How sh Yeah. Come on. Now that I booked my spot for the breeze to test, I need to go and practice my coffee brewing skill. That sounds great. I know a barista friend who can help you with a bre your brewing techniques. She works at the Meroria Coffee House, the place we went to the day before. I remember that place, the fancy looking coffee house where coffee costs a fortune. I'll head there now. Let me go upstairs and get changed first. You know what? I should ask for the paintings. I, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, wait. Taka, I haven't told you my friend's name. I don't wait for Al. I don't wait for Alice, and I head upstairs. I change into my Victorian style clothes and head downstairs. Alice, where are you? Oh, there's a note here. <clears throat> Taka, I need to go to the basin to pick up some stuff. You can, uh, you can leave the door unlocked and head out. The barista I was talking about is Oshina, Oshia. She's one of the best baristas in Victoria and a friend of mine. You can ask her how to improve your coffee brewing skills. Her name is Oshia, Oshia. Is it pronounced like ocean, Oceany? Funny name, so she must be as calm and serene as the ocean. Someone named Ocean must be really sweet and polite. I walk out the coffee house to start to descend eh, and start to descend the stairs towards the main street. Here I am again at the Maria Coffee House. Moria Coffee House? Moria. I sit down and casually flip through the menu. My eyes widen in horror as I see the prices. I nearly forgot how expensive coffee is is in a Victoria. Well, 
I guess if you make your healthier, eh, I guess if it makes your you healthier and helps you cure disease, it's worth it. I see a familiar face walks towards me. I can't believe it. Are you? Is, you're the girl that hit me. And shit, your name is Oshia. Shit. Oh, it's Angry Girl of all the coffee houses. She's whispering in a low voice, just enough for me to hear. What are you doing here? I'm here to order a cup of coffee. Certainly, ordering coffee inside a coffee house is expected. What kind of coffee do you want? What is the cheapest beverage here? I want a latte. I want my coffee with a twist of lemon. Okay, first of all, I'm not going to say I want a latte because they're going to be like, What the fuck is a latte? We don't have a coffee maker here or... You know what? I don't know how latte is made. But that's like a Starbucks thing, you know what I mean? Uh, what is the cheapest beverage here? <laughs> that's, that's a... Eh. Nah, I want to look classy because she's going to... She's kind of mean. Let's do this. I'll have a decaf espresso with a twist of lemon. A twist of lemon in a decaf espresso? We don't add lemon in our espresso here, and we definitely don't serve decaf. <sighs> Fuck, man. I, I tried to act cool, alright? Alright, how about double decaf ice cream? Trying to be funny, are you? Order a fake drink again, and I'll have no choice but to kick you out. Fuck. Now, now I do sound like a fucking asshole. Like a... Oh yeah, I will be like a hipster and like have a... Whatever the fuck I said. Alright, alright. What about a cappuccino? I would li... <laughs> I would really like a cappuccino with a spoon of sugar on top. Do I need to make myself any clearer? If your preferred taste of coffee is to add steamed milk or sugar into one of the most delicious drinks in the world, then you are regrettably in the wrong place. There are many ways to ruin a good cup of coffee, and adding secretion that came from a cow's nipples is the worst sin of all. I just love your voice. I don't know what it is, but it's very lovely, even though you're pissed at me. Wow, I've lost all my appetite for a latte when you put it that way. If you don't have a latte or a cappuccino, then what kind of coffee do you have? Coffee. Pure coffee from the world's best coffee beans, meticulously selected by the best cuppers in Victoria. Hundreds of small little particles floating in the air, colliding with each other, with their unique notes of flavor all competing for your affection. And before you know, you are transferred to the rainforest of the Mayans, the deserts of Maka, and the volcanic landscapes of Kona. The abundance of fruit, the smell of wildflowers and herbs from where the coffee cherries once grew, all stored and contained in this little single coffee bean. Oh, wow. It's like taking a little vacation without leaving your chair. So, you only have black coffee. <laughs> nah, you know what? I'm gonna say it this right. So, you only have black coffee. Yes. Do you have a problem with that? Yes, yes I do. Because I like to add cream, lots of cream, and lots of sugar. Because I am that kind of person. I do not want to taste the coffee. The coffee is just caffeine for me. I'd rather have sugar and cream. Comment down below. Or hit the belt, the the eye right there to tell me what kind of coffee you like. You like it black, just with sugar, or with um fucking cream. I do not have all day. Decide what you want and let me take your order. I skim through the menu and see a list of copies, whatever, uh, which I never heard of. There's also a list of regions of that the coffee beans originate from: Sumatra, Java, Askumite. Mayan and Kona. I have no idea where to begin. I probably should pick something at random. Something random. 
What about a Kona? The mention of Kona and her mouth visibly eh. Eh, sorry. The mention of Kona and her mouth visually twirls a little bit as if I just stabbed her in the heart with a knife. Oh, my Kona, my day's wage. Oh, yeah, shit, we, we fucking threw all those beams. That's probably why. The Kona is one of the most expensive coffee beans in the world, with a creamy and smooth, medium-bodied and balanced flavor. And uh, uh, what, you don't think I can afford that? You don't think I have money? Who do you think I am? You think you're calling me poor? Oh, I love your voice, but don't ever call me poor, okay? Fuck you. <laughs> Sometimes with a hint of chocolate if brewed at the right conditions. Of course, the Kona coffee does come at a price. At 20 VIX a cup. 20 VIX a cup? That's worth twice the mon the pocket money Alice just gave me. No wonder she was so sad when her Kona beans were all over the road. I don't even have 20 VIX for me. I probably should order something else. Do you have any other suggestions? If you're looking for something on the sweeter side, I would suggest our house blend, starting at 8 VIX a cup. 8 VIX for a coffee? I feel like my heart is crying. Well, no, people spend like 10 bucks at Starbucks. What? What's the big deal, my guy? I'll never spend $10 at Starbucks. I'd rather go to McDonald's for a dollar coffee. Oh, okay, I'll have that. Is there anything else I can do for you before I leave you to mind your own business? Is there anything else? I am not going to bring up yesterday. No, we're going to have a... This might be our waifu. I, I just love her voice. It's just... Mm. Like, Alice is kind of... You know, she's kind of just a happy, like... Yay! And, like, I could kind of vibe with it, but at the same time, I'm like, no. Then there's, um... Who you call the other one? Uh... Eliza? Like, she's all, like, bipolar and not really my thing. But she does have a lovely voice, too. But her just... Wow. Just... Just wow. I'm looking for Ocean. You are looking for... Ocean? Did you just say Ocean? Yeah, I'm from Taka Coffee House, and Alice asked me to come over. Did Alice say that? Yeah, Alice wants to take the coffee. Eh. Yes, Alice wants me to take the eh. Yes, Alice wants me to take the coffee test so I can become a registered barista in two weeks, and help save Taka Coffee House. What? Of all the fine people in Victoria, she trusts you to save her coffee house. Why are you saying that? Oh. Wait, I suddenly see a name tag on her apron, which reads Ocean. Oh, you are Ocean. Listen, and listen carefully. How do you spell my name? Uh, O-C-E-A-N-E? -E? Yes, my name has an E. My name is not Ocean, it is Oseon. Oseon? Oseon. Oseon. Isn't that just ocean? Oseon. Do not ever, ever call me ocean. Okay, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Okay, okay. Understood. So, Alice asked you to come here to look for me. What exactly am I supposed to teach you? How much do you actually know? Um, everything about coffee I learned from Starbucks. I'm not gonna say that because 
I'm not a dick, and I never work at Starbucks. Um, I don't know shit. Dude, literally, like I, I tell you, I just put coffee grounds in like a cup. I put hot water, then I put my cream and sugar, and that's all I drink. That's how I drink my coffee. So, I don't know shit about coffee. I'm going to be honest with you. I know absolutely nothing about coffee. Don't give me that cute look. Alright? I try my best. Uh, are you going to say anything? At least compliment how honest I am? Oh shit. Oh shit. If you wrote down everything you knew about coffee, it would be the shortest book ever. Yeah, probably. That didn't go so well. Let's put that aside. I'm going to prepare your coffee now, and we can continue our little discussion later. She walks off without waiting for me to protest. Oh wait, should I follow her and observe how she's brewing my coffee? Are you serious, my guy? That's the reason I'm here, right? I sh probably should go over to the c counter now. Why? <sighs> I don't know, every time I play a visual novel game and like my character decides to do anything, it's always something awkward. And I'm like, no my guy, just sit down, relax, and wait. Pull out your phone, never mind. Yeah, let's go to the counter. I stand up and walk over to the counter, just in time to see Oshia grinding the coffee beans. She sees me walking over and says in a cold voice, You haven't introduced yourself yet. Oh, uh, yeah. It's Taka. Taka? What a strange name. What's so strange about my name? You have the same name as Alice's Coffee House. Yeah, I'm gonna use my mouse. I, I keep hitting the pad and I'm not getting it good. Sorry for the clicks. But, anyway, were you telling the truth when you said you know nothing about coffee brewing? Well, I took or uh, well, I took customers' orders at a counter, never got any training on the coffee, the espresso machine. Wait, so I did work at Starbucks, what the fuck? I see. So you have no experience. She doesn't look impressed. She definitely- yeah, she's definitely measuring my worth now, measuring whether I really, I'm really worth her time. I look over at the setup. I'm just in time to catch a glimpse of Oshia, 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 on, Oshian, Oshian, grinding the coffee beans. The aroma of coffee spreading across the hall like roasted cocoa, choco, choca, like sweet flowers. Oh no, I gotta do her voice. I keep, oh, I'm not gonna hear that pretty voice every time. <clears throat> With a pour of coffee, With a pour of coffee, we usually use coffee grinds that are medium grinds. Not too fine, and not too coarse here. Co co coarse, coarse. The grinder is carefully calibrated each morning to give the precise level of grind. Consistency is key. Listen, one of the most important things about brewing a cup of coffee is precise measurements. Precise measure me eh, precise measurements. If there's one thing you can take away, it will be the golden ratio of water to coffee grinds. The golden ratio? 17.42 to 1. The golden ratio of water to coffee grinds. Always start with the exact ratio, then you can adjust depending on humidity and temperature. Here, here, 
Ah, fuck. Here, I have 18 grams of coffee grinds, which I add 300 grams of water. Once Oshia, Oshia starts pouring water into the coffee filter, the soft impact of water against the coffee grinds result in a smoothing, splashing sound. An intoxicating sense of aroma, aromatic, aromatic coffee pervades across the counter. The sense of pure ecstasy fills my nostrils. The coffee bean I'm using is a light roast coffee from the Asukmai Yaga Chief region. From a cooperative of 15 HRs. <laughs> Grown at 1,500 to 1,800 meters above sea level. You will smell hibiscus and bright lemon. I'm using water heated at 92 degrees, which should give me 90 degrees when the coffee reached the bottom of the cup. She stops pouring once the coffee covers the grinds to the top. Let the coffee bloom, let it rest, release all the acidic and nasty gas before making the final pour. This process is important and helps to enhance the flavors. I will wait for 35 seconds. Gas starts bubbling onto the surface, forming a balloon. I feel slightly acidic twitch in my nose. The coffee blooms like bread popping out of the oven before it starts to recede a little. Gas bubbles appear and disappear, releasing the nasty acidic substance into the air. What's left is pure coffee orgasm. Really? Now comes the final pour. A steep for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. This is when your pouring skills really matters. So, how should I do the final pour? Like a free-flowing piano piece. What do you mean? But Oshia doesn't... Does not reply. She isn't listening to me anymore. She set her gaze upon the steam of water. Pouring out from the mouth of the kettle. Landing softly on the even coffee grinds. The movement. The movement coffee and water clashes. Aroma is released into the air. Mellow, floral, sweet, like dancing fairies, pretty and fair. Once Oshia kept her wrist lock, arms moving in perfect circular motion, she is a conductor, directly the music notes as freely as she can. She carefully ensures that every side of the cone is nourished with water. Same quantity, same velocity, not a tremble in sight, not a hint of disturbance. Her arms circle the cone elegantly. Scents are now clashing and dancing with each other, like a princess without her tower, a bird without a cage. I glimpse at her. She's focused on the poor. From time to time, she lowers her nose towards the cone and takes a few light sniffs. An, an aura of energy radiates from her whole body. Her angry flare has disappeared. Her tongue of provocation, bitterness is hidden behind a symphony of guilty, arom aromatic pleasure. At this very moment, she is different. A calming present, a precise charm. Just as she nears the end of her pour, her rhythm changes. She gradually lowers her arms towards the cone, moving like a pianist's fingers, dancing wildly at the keyboard. 
The tip of the kettle is not only a fingertip away from the grind. Her radius of motion continues to shrink. She pours quicker, like a symphony moving towards its climax. The clash of wa flowing water, gentle and smooth, like a distant streaming stream sliding between a crack in the rocks. And finally, she winds, she winds down her motions. Her arms relax, signaling the end of an emotional piece of music. Gradually, the last drip of water leaves the kettle, and she slowly lifts up the kettle and closes her eyes, taking a deep breath. And that is, and that is the pour over done like a free-flowing piano piece. I look at the coffee in front of me in amazement. It is work of art, a masterpiece that will not be forgotten. It is music beyond this world. And, and this is your pour over. Today is your lucky day. Our house blend has been roasted to near perfection. We've managed to create a coffee blend which has a hint of floral, natural bitterness, and a sour note all in one cup. I lift the cup and attempt to take a sip. Eh, eh. Just what are you, your intentions? You're currently... Uh, you're current... Eh. Your current haste actions imply that you are yet to be taught the proper etiquette of coffee appreciation. I would advise you to have your coffee in the appropriate manner by sitting down and on a soft leather couch, cherishing what your priesta has endeavored to prove for you. Hopefully, my advice can add a bit towards your coffee appreciation. Not that you have much to build upon. How come this feels like a slight towards me? I give up and rebuttal and walk towards the couch. All I want is to drink coffee. Why do I feel so stressed? The formalities, the proud stares from everyone at the counter. Is this what out of place feels like? Am I socially awkward? I never felt this before. People are staring at me. I gotta run. I gotta... I'm socially awkward. I'm so, so excited. Anyway, here's my coffee. Let me just finish it. I wolf down the coffee. Just one big gulp and half the cup is gone. This coffee is light. Anyway... This should give me the necessary caffeine kick. So now that I have coffee, that means I should be able to perform caffeine. I try to close my eyes and recall what I have seen on my first day here at Moria. When the Cuffbers were both shooting fireballs at each other. I imagine my palms heating up. Vis I visualize a fireball under my palms. I concentrate really hard. Wrinkles start to appear on my forehead. I tighten myself and feel my whole body shaking. I push my hands upwards imagining myself hurling a huge fireball prepared to shoot out towards onto the ceiling. Nothing happens. No shit. I open my eyes again and see Oshia looking at me in a funny way. Is your constipation bothering you? The pharmacy is next door. I suggest you head over there before you get seriously ill. Girl, I love your voice. I I can't just mimic your voice. It's really perfect. Ugh, oh, fuck that British voice, though. Ooh. No, I don't have constipation. I'm trying to perform caffeine. Fuck, really? Perform caffeine? What kind of caffeine were you trying to perform exactly? I'm trying to shoot out a fireball. A fireball? With our house blend? Are you serious? Do you have any idea how caffeine works? 
Uh, not really. Nope, not at all. I should. I suggest you give up on your barista test then. Give up? Why? The odds are better of me seeing a hint of intelligence in you than for you to pass the barista test. Unfortunately, my mind is already made up on your level of intelligence. Another slight towards me. Another slight slight towards me that I don't know how to answer. I still need to try. Alice is counting on me. Then, Alice is wrong. This is hopeless. She's not going to help me. But when I think about Alice's words... If we don't get a barista within two weeks, the Forster is going to come back and throw us out. I can't let that happen. I can't let my parents' coffee house just close down like that. I need to find a way. Listen, I don't have much time. I need to become a registered barista so I can help Alice save the coffee house. Please tell me what I do did wrong there. This is absurd. What? Do you seriously think you can unlock all the potential flavors and aromas of any kind of coffee beans with merely two weeks of training? This is not a child's play. Stop making a fool of yourself. And most of all, stop insulting the soul the solemnity of a barista. What did you say? A barista endures years of training to brew coffee that achieves consistency and elex and excellence in every pour. For years they pour their blood and sweat into making the perfect cup only to get to the level where they can be recognized as a decent barista. And up pops you, a fake barista with a fake name. A fake barista with a fake name? Wait, did she just say I have a fake name? What do you mean by that? He gives me a look and is... And if she seems something disgusting lurking in front of her. How long are you uh, how long are you gonna pretend you don't know what I'm saying? To be honest, I really don't. Taka, you call yourself Taka, how dare you? Huh? What is this girl talking about? What's wrong with my name? And I'm sure and I'm sure to tell everyone your family eh. And I'm sure you tell everyone your family name is Knight, don't you? Taka Knight, that's my name. That's always been my name. But the girl in front of me looks like she punched me in the nose resently if I dare insist that's my name. I know Alice since she took over that coffee house. And I've known about the coffee house since I was a child. You do then. And you, sir, are a vagrant, op optimistic liar to call yourself Taka Knight. The words that were about to come out from my mouth became a dry hiss as air would not come out from my throat. Wh what is she saying? Taka Coffee House, established by R Ricker. And Sarah and I, in the name, in the same year when their son Taka Knight was born, both of them were seen as legends in the coffee industry, having revolutionized the coffee making process with methods unknown at the time. Legends in the coffee industry? Oshia echoes the same sentiment and respect towards my father that Alice conveyed to me yesterday. Although, I still have a hard time accepting that my father was a well-respected individual in this world. I'm just too f it's just it's just too far-fetched to even imagine. However, their fame was short-lived for they made powerful enemies.
One night, their whole family disappeared. Disappeared? Wait, you know what happened to my family? Nobody knows for sure, only rumors. What is known, however, is that Richter Knight was prying into matters which he had no business in. Every word that comes out of her mouth gives me a series of shock waves like electricity consistently flowing through my nerves. The underworld's method are cunning and brutal. Who knows where, where their remains lie? Remains? You think I'm dead? Oshia gave me an indignant look as if a simple conclusion to the disappearance of the knights that couldn't even be called complicated. That, eh. Fuck, man. Oshia gives me an intricate look as if this a simple conclusion to the disappearance of the knights that couldn't even be called a complicated mystery. Is, is that what it's about? Ever and Victoria think my family was murdered? What was my father prying into before my life was suddenly turned upside down? What did he do? Who knows where their body lies? The harbor is vast. The ocean is even more vast. Their bodies will never be found. That's not true. I'm still here. That's why you are a liar. My eyes widened in shock as I finally realized the origin of her madness. She doesn't even believe I'm talking night. And she doesn't even believe who I am. Then, of course, she'd be mad because... Alice is gullible, but I am not. You expect me to believe the coincidence a person with the same name as the knight's son suddenly shows up and claims himself to be to have lived here before. To be honest, if someone had done the same thing to me, I would be a bit suspicious as well, but But I am talking knight. What are your chances of taking up the name of the long deceased person? There can only be a hand handful of possibilities. And most probable reason is that you're taking advantage of Alice's kindness, a parasite living on others' night deity. No, I'm not. Of all the vagrants I've seen in my life, Finally, shit. you are the epitome of a person who feels no shame. Finally, man, you talk. I hate doing that voice for you. You have a cool British voice that I can never do. Yeah. Stop it, I'm talking night. How do I prove myself? I'm talking night. Oh yeah? How do you prove your Oshia? Stop it, stop it, I'm talking night. I don't need to prove it because I am. Shouting out loud doesn't make you any more right. What do you want me to say? I don't have any papers to prove who I am, okay? Fine, let me ask you a question then. In what year did Richter Knight win the Brista Championships? What? Year? What year did he win the Brista Championships? How would I know? You don't know? Oh shit, I didn't even do her voice. You don't know? I look up Oshia with my mouth wide open. I couldn't even give her an answer, as the answer doesn't exist in my brain. I kept my question simple. It's unfathomable that the son of the legendary barista would even know in what year his father rose to glory and fame. Now, do you still have anything to say for yourself? But he never told me. Pardon? A gush of r blood rushes through my veins. I feel my nerves cracking under pressure. My skull is exploding from the incoming waves. I can't stand it anymore. I... I just... Can't. Because he never told me anything. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't prove anything to you. I get it. Because they never told me anything. My father never told me who he was. He kept every secret to himself. And I hate him. I hate him for it. So, 
You know nothing? I know nothing. There's nothing I can do. Ah, there's nothing I can prove. Ah, there's nothing I can do to prove who I am. All I have are my memories. Your memories? What memories? My memories of happiness. I came to Victoria so I could reunite with the, the happiness that I've lost a long time ago. I take a deep breath. I'm reluctant. I am reluctant to open my myself up. But emotions have been taken the best of me. My rationality put put aside. I never knew my mom, even though I know deep in my heart when I was when eh, we spent six happy years together. But one day she just disappeared from my life. I have no idea where she is. The only memory I have of her is the coffee. Eh, Fuck, man, I'm sorry. I'm being dumb right now. I'm just tired. It's like 2 in the morning. So, relax, man. <clears throat> the only memory I have of her is the coffee house on the corner of that little alley. Sometimes I dream about it, and I see my parents looking at each other's eyes, shining with love. But, once I return to reality, I just see my father's eyes hollowed and filled with despair. What happened? I keep asking, but I never got an answer until now. Imagine my surprise to see that coffee house just standing there, like how I remembered it, right here in the city. The only memory that I still have left of my mom is it's here, right in the city. That's all I have no me uh, right in the city that I have no memory of. But now, they are taking it away from me. This time, it could be forever. I can't allow it to happen. Taka Coffee House is the only memory I have left of my mom. It's the only connection I have with the city. If they take it away, then I am really a nobody. I can't lose it. It will be like losing my mom forever. My mom who told me that nothing mattered no more than seeing me happy. Nothing mattered more than seeing you happy? What do you know of loss? What do you know how I feel? To remember nothing about a person you love. Having them so close to your heart, yet the memories are so far away. How fake it is to claim to love someone when you don't even remember her, her face, or a word that she have ever said. How fake to be someone like me. Silence. Epic monologue. We both stand in silence, unable to voice another word. Me too emotional. She too bewildered to say anything. I hold back my tears as I do not want her to see me cry, but the emotions are just stacking like rocks in a landslide, crushing me into the abyss. I couldn't stand this any longer. I'm sorry. You want proof? I can't give it to you. I only have my memories, but these memories mean nothing to you. I'll find someone else to help me. I turn around and take my leave. Wait! That, that, that. What now? I'll, I'll teach you. I'll teach you how to brew coffee. What? Why? Someone who doesn't even attempt... Eh. Someone who doesn't even attempt to memory... Eh. Someone who doesn't even attempt to memorize basic trivia about his father is... Most likely, not a fraud. Is that her reason for believing me? No, she stops sh short of saying she believes who I am. She just said she's willing to help me. So far, I have no idea what caused her to change her mind. I simply could not believe that she suddenly decided I really, I'm really talking night. But, even though I can help you pass the barista test, that doesn't mean you can find your mom. 
What? What did you say? Let me tell you the cruel reality. How many years have been you have been away? If no one has seen her all these years, it's unlikely we'll find her now. What she says is the cold hard truth. But I just can't accept it. I'm not interested in her reasoning. I just got to say, I have to refuse. I refuse to be taught by you. What? Why? Because my dignity won't let me. Is what I am tell myself deep down. Is it? Isn't it that obvious? You s said some really nasty things about my parents. <laughs> what the fuck? This is... You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the, the, the stupid uh, thing I've been seeing on Instagram where it's like they put their hands on the anime girl. Like the both hands and like... Tch, you know what I mean? I, look. Look at his face. Look. I love you. It's like... What? <laughs> As I just finished my sentence, I lean my body forward and slap my fist onto the wall be behind her, and I give her a stare that would be tame even as a furious lion. For the record, I don't believe my mom is dead. She is alive. That impact of my fist on the wall while shaking her shakes her. Although she manages to ma maintain her composure, Sweat starts to flow from her body as she looks down at me with bewildered look. Oh, eh, with a bewildered look. So, don't you dare tell me she's dead. I will find her. That's the whole reason I came to Victoria. She continues to stare at me while her body is sweating profound, profusely. She tries to evade my stare, but I would not let her. I will not back down when my dreams are being ridiculed. I make sure she gets the point. The quest to find my mother is what ha is what has given me the reason to fight. If that purpose is lost, then I'm not sure if I can survive in this world any anymore. It is the only connection I have with this world. But then her lips cure curl upwards giving me a sinister grin I see you are a believer aren't you so you're going to walk out without achieving your purpose my my purpose you forgot didn't you didn't you tell me you came here to save Alice's coffee house dun 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 <gasps> You're a hothead, aren't you? I disrespect the mother you love. But in that rage, you forgot your own original purpose. Now it's my turn to sweat. I got sidetracked. <laughs> but she's right. Alice asked me to come here solely because the girl standing in front of me might be the only person who can help. I'm sorry, I feel like I want to laugh. Like, <laughs> I'm just laughing right now. And I already know her coffee was brewed to perfection. It's a skill I can never learn by myself. So, tell me, Taka, which is more important to you? What is your priority? To find your mother or to help Alice save the coffee house? Fuck. And why, why are you up? Uh, let's see. I'm gonna help Alice save the coffee house. Ay. I'm gonna help Alice save the coffee house. Like, my mom could wait. Like, literally. The mom can be there for like a month or something. Or years. Staying where she's at. I only got two weeks to help Alice, you know? <sighs> there is no doubt. I need to help Alice save the coffee house. Nothing is more important than that. Not only because the coffee house contains all the happy memories of me and my mom, it's all because it was Alice who saved me when I was most desperate. If it were not for Alice who have saved me when I was losing my sanity in this world, I wouldn't have made it 
this far. Help, help Alice save the coffee house. That is my priority. She smiles at me triumphantly, much to my dismay. So, are we in mutual agreement? Our partnership is only because we have mutual goals. And that is to help Alice. Nothing else. Yes, help Alice. Now, isn't it time for you to focus on your task on hand and stop flirting with me? Flirting with you? Yeah, no shit, dude. Look what you're doing. I'm not sure what's running in your mind, but to everyone else who is looking at us right now, it does seem like you are pulling some desperate measure to win my affection. Tch. That's far from the truth. But as I scan my surroundings, I see bewildered baristas with red cheeks on their faces. Then I realized I've been doing a cabedon. That's what it's called. Cabedon. Basically slamming my fist on the wall and looking at Oshia fiercely. But that forceful stare might as well be mistaken for being, well, passionate. Oshia continues to give me a playful look and pull my arm away from the wall and be and my face begins to feel red upon the real 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 ah fuck realization whatever fuck just to be clear that that wasn't yes i know you were just confused you still haven't answered my question what did i do wrong First, the moment you lift the the moment you lift the cup towards your lips, your disrespect was imminent. I saw you wolfing down the coffee in one big gulp. Did you even attempt to slow down and appreciate the coffee I brewed for you? Come to think of it, I didn't really give it much thought. If you want caffeine to bless you, you need to learn how to respect it. Okay, lady. Are you gonna like voice the character or do I gotta keep voicing it? You choose. I don't wanna keep voicing you because you have a pretty sexy British accent. Alright? Alright. Oshia hands me another cup of coffee. I ah, fucking shit. I suspect you are a person of haste. Do you have a life that requires you to always be in a rush? You drink fast. You speak fast, you walk fast. Yeah, that's me. The speaking one. And drinking. Yeah. Walking? Yeah, I walk fast too. It is intolerable, irritating to observe your pace. I do not understand why you are in such a hurry. Caffeine requires slow appreciation. Without appreciation, you are just a lifeless zombie. Yearing can continuously for fuel so now please try to use all your senses to appreciate this cup of coffee I do as she says and lifts the coffee closer to my nose appreciating coffee is like appreciating music like a symphony with different parts son of a bitch like a symphony just then the music in the room magically switches to a clear piano melody. <sighs> Son of a bitch. The easiest odor to detect is the sour, fruitful smell. Its bright, amaritic odor pierces into your nostrils like a high-pitched piano melody in a concerto. The melody keeps looping again and again like raindrops dropping onto a pond, soft but bright, as if it were yearning for love and appreciation. Next, it's the smoothing sweet and mellow flavors. When you s start sipping the first drop of coffee, using your lips and tongue to feel its texture. As I take my first sip, 
the tune in my head slowly transform itself. Like the woodwind selection and the steady cello in the background, giving the symphony a solid base and foundation. I hear a steady chord of strings lifting up the high-pitched piano, improving its clarity and sharpness. And finally, you have the natural bitterness, the aftertaste that brings forth the, the remnant taste of your coffee. Like the beating of a snare drum far away in the background. And I hear snare drums together with a whole orchestra playing in my head. <laughs> Guys, this is what I see when I drink coffee. Mountains. The symphony, the symphony is now in full play, and my mind wanders into a far distant land. And now, I'm in, and I'm, uh, am I now in the Mayan highlands, or the jungles of Sumatra? Am I appreciating the beauty of the scenery? I am appreciating the beauty of the scenery. The smell of the fruits hanging beneath the trees. Why am I doing that voice? What the fuck? This is my voice. What the fuck? <laughs> the distant song of birds, the odor of the grass, with breezing across the landscape, sending the fresh smell of herbs into my lungs. Then I notice that far away across the landscape, there is a chocolate river flowing with, cho with choco, rich choco. The flavor of bitterness lingering lingers at the back of my tongue. I am in paradise. In order to prefer caffeine, you need to capture the right moment. When you are in need of healing, you need to capture the moment when the fruity smell is at its strongest. When you are in, in need of bitterness, Wait until the end of the bitterness is lingering at the back of your tongue. I see. I can. Can you tell me more about how to perform caffeine then? No. No, I won't. No. Why? Two weeks is better spent learning on how to brew a de decent cup of coffee than to learn caffeine. But both are in the syllabus. That is why I'm telling you to focus on coffee brewing. However, we still have one problem. What problem? You really need to learn some cupping skills. I can see how sensitive palate. I can see you have a sensitive palate, but you have no idea how to use it properly. I suggest you go to the coffee academia to get some cupping lessons. They have a collection of coffee beans you could try. Can I just learn cupping skills here? You want to waste our precious coffee beans on your insen insensitive tongue? Alright, so it's all about the money. Ugh, why can't we live in a socialistic society? Eh. Now, go and get your cupping lessons. There's nothing else for me to teach you today. There's one more thing. What now, Taka? You said my father made some... Some really powerful enemies? Have you already forgotten? Forgot what? Your priorities, Taka. You told me you pro your priorities... Eh, you told me your priorities saving the coffee house. Fuck, I'm not doing that voice no more. But can't you at least tell me what you know? I will tell you after you have taken the barista test. If I tell you now, it will just distract you. She's right. I'm probably going to get distracted if I hear her. If I start hearing her uh, stories about my family. But not knowing really gets on my nerve. It just makes me my mind more preoccupied, as if it's going to explode with pain at any moment. Anyways, I'm leaving now. And thank you for your help. Dot dot dot. Taka. Yes. 
I apologize what I said about your parents. There's nothing to apologize for. You forgive easily, don't you? Well, I guess so. I rarely hold grudges towards people unless they have wronged me deeply. There's one more thing I want to say. Come on, man. It's been an hour. I remain silent as I sense the seriousness in her tone that forces me to concentrate. Your mother once told you that nothing is more important than seeing you happy. That's why you are trying so hard to reunite with the happiness that once was. Things have changed here, you know. Even if your coffee house hasn't changed, people change. You cannot find your mom. You may not find your mom. I'll see you later, Oshia. No, that was one intense coffee lesson. I should bring a notebook next time to record everything down. But first, I should go and visit Eliza again to get some cupping training. Oi, fucking chola. Get the fuck out of here. The goth girl again. What is she doing here? I'm not gonna lie, she scares the crap out of me. Vanished again. I wonder what kind of caffeine she's using. Hello. Oh, fuck. Fucking shit. Ugh. I remember you. You were here yesterday. Do you happen to know a man named Tucker Knight? Nope. She's looking for me? But she doesn't even know. <laughs> but she doesn't seem to know who I am. Fuck, man. That scared the crap out of me. Sir Alex has warned me not to diverge my name so easily. But even if he didn't warn me, I definitely not telling her who I am. Sorry, I have no idea who you're talking about. I see. Of course you don't. But she moves too, that's even scarier. Shit man, scared the fuck out of me. As with a swift moment, she vanishes like a vampire turning into a bat. Except there is no bat, only dust. Just who is she? Oh fuck. Tak, Taka, you're back. Did you get to meet my friend Oshia? Yes, I did. I always thought the ocean was calm and serene place. But today I realized the ocean can be a galloping storm waiting to engulf and drown you. I don't know what you mean. What are you talking about, Taka? You never told me how to pronounce her name. I thought she was called Ocean. He went from barista girl to becoming angry girl. I wanted to tell you her name, but you ran upstairs to get change. Was she helpful? Did you get a chance to taste her coffee? I never felt so stressed drinking coffee, a cup of coffee in my life. But I have to admit, her coffee was indeed amazing. It felt like I was taken to a wonderful land with with a magical wonderland with all kinds of fruits and flowers. Dude, that, sh that fucking girl scared, scared the crap out of me, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I also saw how she prepared the pour of co eh, over coffee. Maybe I can try practicing my, co my brewing skills based on what I've observed. That sounds like a, that sounds like a great idea. Let me bring out the coffee equipment. Alice takes out the coffee dripper from the shelves with a cloth filter already in place. I get to work immediately. I recall what I saw when Oshia was brewing her cup of coffee for me. Unfortunately, I do not have a photogenic memory. I guess I have to wing it. Here. Here is my pour of coffee, Alice. Let's see. Hmm. Can I add sugar into this cup of coffee? What? What? Why? I got a lot of smack when I asked Oshia to add sugar or milk in my coffee. I know. You're not supposed to add any sweetener to coffee because it will affect your ability to perform caffeine. But, Taka, is this drinkable? Thanks for a show of confidence, Alice. That really gives me a lot of motivation to keep going. Sorry, Taka, but this coffee looks like water. I can't even see 
I can't even see through the coffee to the bottom of the cup. Fine. If you won't drink it, I will. I'll show you my coffee is just as good as any barista in Victoria. I lift the cup and start pouring the contents into my mouth. What is this feeling? Why am I suddenly so scared? Instead of being sent to a magical fantasy world, my whole world goes black. Dark and depressed, the, cloud, the, colors, the color and brightness of this world drains away from my con conscience. Oh, my motivation. Depression starts to sink in. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you are a useless piece of garbage. Do you really think a noob like you can brew a cup of coffee fit for consumption? I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Please don't go. I promise. I'll work harder. Papa told me not to be friends with people who brew bad coffee. No, not you too, Aliza. I thought you were kind and sweet. Why are you doing t this to me? Come back! Was I wrong to trust you, Taka? Please, pack up your belongings and leave this coffee house now. No, please. I'll work harder. Please! Are you alright, Taka? You look really pale. I knew it. The coffee was terrible. You're right. Looks like I still have much to learn. If I serve this cup of coffee during the test, I definitely won't pass. Very soon, night type approaches. I spend some time practicing my pour over without much progress. I give up and decide to lay on my bed. I really... I really suck. I really knackered, but I don't want to sleep. I met so many people and so many things have happened in the past couple of days. How safe am I? How deep is the conspiracy against me? Now, Taka, answer me carefully as how well your response could very well determine your fate. My question, what does this coffee bean actually do? What is Coffee Terrace trying to tell me? What is she trying to say? After taking over this coffee house, I picked up stories about the founder. It turned out he was quite famous at the time. My father was famous, but he never told me, and now his fame is coming back to haunt me. Taka Knight, did you say? Lady Stanley definitely knows who I am. The only thing I'm unsure of is whether she's a friend or foe. Dude, if they show the fucking girl, the golf girl, I'm gonna be scared. That, that chick scared the fuck out of me. Nobody knows for sure, only rumors. What is known, however, is that Rich- oh. Is that Richter Knight was prying into matters which he had no business in. What was my father prying into? What dangerous matter could lead our whole family to vanish from Victoria? Victoria can be a treacherous place. Do not diverge information so easily. You never know who's plotting against you. Sir Alex wants to protect me, but I shouldn't let my guard down. I know so little about him. He could turn against me if I'm not careful. The fucking shit, I need to cover her face. I remember you. You were you were here yesterday. Do you happen to know a man named Taka Knight? Is she here to hurt me? She's too young to know my father, but still. I feel my presence here in Victoria has already caused a series of conspiracy to brew up. Is it still safe to stay in this coffee house? Maybe I should escape. Should I escape? Fuck, are you, are you kidding me, man? No, I can't escape. That's stupid. I must stay. How could I leave? Like, I'm not gonna banish Alice. Fuck you. No, I can't. 
If I leave, then this coffee house will shut down and Alice will have nowhere to go. What am I supposed to do? What should I do? Alright, I am ending it here. I am going to end this video here. That took way too long. Okay, if you like the video, like and subscribe and leave a comment, you know? I like to read comments and sometimes I reply and if I don't know what to say, I just leave a like. So leave a comment and hit the bell notification to see more of my videos. Alright man, I'm going to bed. I was going to record a Dender Enigma but these videos take like an hour to make and I'm fucking tired. Okay, well then. Uh, goodbye. Um, adios. Okay, bye bye.